exciting. All right, well, lip enhancement is the hottest plastic surgery trend right now, and the American Society of Plastic Surgeons says a record number of Americans underwent lip augmentation procedures last year. A new lip filler now just hit the market, and our medical reporter Bianca Castro is here with a preview for us. Hi, Bianca. Hi, Meredith. Well, dermal fillers, including lip injections, seem to be attractive for a lot of women because there's little downtime with them. Well, the FDA just approved a new filler made specifically for the lips, and we went to one of our trusted skin experts to get the scoop. Women like to just kind of have this rolled out a little bit. The doctor's chair is a far cry from where you'd typically find Beth Marshall. I barrel race as a hobby, so I'm outside a lot. And she says all that time outside is beginning to show. No matter what kind of head protection I wear, I always seem to get this part of my face exposed. So it does take a beating from the sun, and there are lines there that weren't there just a few years ago. She's one of the first in North Texas to try the new lip filler called Vobella. It's from the makers of Botox, and it claims to address all the worries. Dr. Fiona Wright at Skin MD and Beyond in Plano says she hears from her patients. How long does a product last? Does it feel smooth in the lips? Does it look natural? That's and what good. kind of swelling does it have after the treatments? It looks smooth and has little swelling, she says, because Volbella is made of a blend of soft particles that gives a more natural look. People are concerned that they don't want to have that uh, trout pout or bee sting look. It's also cheaper than traditional fillers at 400 bucks. And in clinical trials, the results lasted twice as long. Nice. When other products are lasting about six months, you're going to have to repeat that purchase of 450 to $600 every six months. Where with the Vobella, you're only going to spend $400, and that's going to be on a yearly basis. A cost Beth may already be convinced is worth it, giving her one more reason to smile. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is completely different. I hadn't seen these lips like this since I was about 17 years old. The FDA approved product, or the FDA approved this product for use only in the lips. Complications from dermal fillers are uncommon, but potential risks do include bruising or bleeding and infection. Chris? All right.